rescue debate point seven. And just so you know, this is very preliminary information, and we are currently evaluating more of the data to see um, if this magnitude is accurate and also the depth and also to determine what type of uh, fault mechanism this was to better determine what kind of damage and tsunami potential may exist with this. Okay, so uh, still a, a lot of information uh, still to emerge. But uh, tell us yes. then the dangers of a tsunami. That, of course, is uh, something that everyone fears. Certainly. We're not the tsunami center. However, we do coordinate with them. And as you mentioned, an uh, Indian-wide um, uh, tsunami warning has been issued. And with that, basically, with an earthquake of this magnitude, it's certainly considered tsunamogenic, generally speaking, if it's shallow like this one is, within about 32 kilometers depth. And with that, what happens is basically a, a large body of water is disturbed by the faulting, which we can assume if this is the correct type of faulting, would be potentially uplifted by the movement of the fault. And the earth um, would displace a bunch of water, which would then create the tsunamogenic effect ocean-wide. And of course, being this close to the west coast of Sumatra, this would be very, could be very devastating to that coastline again, and perhaps other places in the Indian Ocean like before in 2004. Well, of course, 2004 very much in everyone's minds. What um, kind of early warning systems do you know are now in place? I'm not an expert in that area either. However, I do know that um, there have been a number of improvements since that earthquake and tsunami, and we can only hope that they're in place tonight or today when this is, with this occurring there. 